Okay. How about a little bit of a machining video for a change, right? I'm sure everybody's tired of this dumbass wiring business. So anyways, what I got to do here is this pulley was on this two horsepower motor with the 7 8 inch shaft. I am going to get it situated for this motor, this three horse motor, with the inch and an eighth inch shaft. So, what I'm going to do right off the bat <clears throat> is make myself a, uh, what do you call it, a gauge plug. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this down to, or part of it down to inch and an eighth so that it will match exactly or very, very closely to the shaft on the motor for two reasons. One, first and foremost, is I have a terrible time hitting inside diameters when I go to uh, bore this. So if I have this that I can fit to it, I can sneak up on it more easily. And two... <clears throat> If I need in the future to put a keyway in it, I can use this uh, to hammer in my keyway for it. So anyways, I'm going to get this set up and start plugging away at this. Let's see. Let me bring you guys back here in a minute. Got this thing zeroed now for 1.123. Let's see how much I got to take off. So I've got to take off another 300 thousandths plus. <clears throat> so you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and get this thing down to size or at least closer to size and then I'll bring you back. Alrighty. Now I've got this gauge plug Oops. to the size I want it, I think. Assuming it hasn't expanded too much from heat, but at any rate, the thing I'm going to do now is 
I'm gonna make myself. to do it on but I can always cut it if I need to. I'm gonna make this to fit on or make this turn the shaft down till till this fits on it and I'm gonna help use that to get this um, so that it's not oh, you'll see what I mean <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down until it fits, and I'll bring you guys back here when I get ready to start setting this guy up in the chuck. Okay, now let me show you what it was I was trying to explain. Hopefully the shaft is fairly straight, otherwise it'll kind of defeat the whole purpose of this. Right. Out with the drill. Chuck. Crap. And with the live center. you can kind of see what I'm fixing to get rid of here or at least mostly get rid of Should be good enough for my needs. Now, obviously, I could have put an indicator on here, but I don't do very well chasing an indicator around. So, this was a good cheat for me and my special or not so special abilities. Now, I get to try out one of my new boring bars that I haven't had a chance to try yet. Now, I'm going to have to set this thing up for center height and all that good stuff, but... This is the first time, first time using the Sandvik boring bar, and I am pretty darn happy about it. This is one of the latest century finds, so. Let's see if I can get this thing set up well enough.
and see where we are for center height. Okay, I need to go way up. Alright, I think I pretty well got it. Well, there goes nothing, I guess. pretty darn happy with that okay so I'm going to get this thing set up for the auto feed and whatnot and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera and keep taking passes at this until I get to the point that this fits so anyways I'll pause it I'll bring you back closer to the end Doing about 25,000 depth of cut at a time. do this a few more times but you get the idea now all right I think I might have this to a point where I can use it I actually have my gauge pin a little bit undersized by accident but 
for this type of pulley mounting, I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. Feels like it's pretty darn snug on the back side, which is where it's solid and a little bit looser up here, so. I think I'm gonna try it. Of course, once I take it out, I'm kinda committed to it, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh yeah, oh yes. Oh, I'm darn happy with that. I think I did good by making my gauge pin a tiny bit undersize. Let's see, where's the pulley at? <clears throat> I think I got a winner here. All right. Well, at any rate, let's see. This is where I'm going to end the video, but from here, I think it's going to be pretty much a matter of getting the motor. Basically mounted to the floor right there. So, anyways... I am very happy with the results on that, and luckily it didn't take too awful long. I think maybe I was going at it for another, I don't know, 10-15 minutes beyond the length of this video, so. If that. So, I am pretty darn happy about this. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.